Hi there, my name is Pez Javahari. I'm a group product manager on the Microsoft Business Intelligence team. And today I'm going to give you a quick demo of Project Crescent. Project Crescent is a web-based ad hoc immersive experience that we've created and it's coming in the next release of SQL Server Denali. It's a great feature of reporting services that works directly within SharePoint that allows your users to be able to create their own immersive reporting experiences right within a web browser. As you can see, I have a familiar Office tool set that allows me to change and modify items on the page, and it's contextual depending on the items that I select. Over here on the right, I have my metadata layer, and this is created to enable me as a user to quickly and easily access the information that I need in the terms that make sense to me, not in database or OLAP terms, but in business terms. So here, I'm going to go ahead and create uh, my report in Crescent and I've simply, simply selected the cars table and you see I get a default view of the information in a very nice table. I've got information on the makes and models of cars that I sell, how much uh, miles per gallon they have both in the city and the highway as well as the manufactured suggested price and type of vehicle. Let me go ahead and just create this into a card so that I can maximize my real estate on the canvas. So here in this card I've got a nice view of all the information identical to the table but now it's much more specific to each item. Let me go ahead and add some more items onto my page. The next item that I want to add is I want to look at how I'm doing in my sales for the types of cars that I'm selling. So here you can see I have compact, uh, sedans, hybrids, and so on, and I'm interested in the cumulative sales. Now, I happen to be a very visual guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a column view of the same data. And just like that, with one click, I have the information in the format that I'm looking for, and I can resize it to maximize the space that I have on my page. Lastly, let me look at some additional information, and here I want to look at how I'm selling my cars over time. So let me add some quarters and the, the sales amount. And here we're going to view that as a line chart. So, as you can see, within a matter of clicks, I've created a very visual experience right within my browser that is also highly interactive. So here I can select compacts. I can see how my compact sales have done over the various quarters, as well as the two types of compact cars that I'm selling. Equally so for hybrids. And here this is a great looking graph. You can see it's a nice hockey stick view that in the last few quarters, hybrids have really taken off. And lastly, let me take a look at SUVs. And here I can see a much different picture where sales have been declining. There was a spike but then sales are basically dropping right off. And that might make me want to investigate more and find out exactly what's taking place. Now before we go do that, I have a hypothesis that I want to test. And that is that gas prices have fluctuated and increased over the last few years. And that may be impacting the sales of the types of cars that I have available. And maybe why the SUVs are dropping off and hybrids are increasing. So let me go ahead and add average sales prices to this chart. And the data that we got from average uh, uh, gas prices here is from the Azure Marketplace. And what we were able to do is download that information, uh, create a beautiful mashup within uh, the model that brought in the gas prices from Azure and tied it into our corporate system. So now you can see that uh, from 2007, gas prices were on the rise. There was a dip. And then, grass, uh, then gas prices have increased since that time. And I have a feeling that this is probably uh, related. So let me go and, and, and test out this hypothesis. So I'm going to turn this into a scatter. I am going to add margin. And I'm going to add my, the size of the bubble to be sales growth year over year. Now in order for me to uh, see what's happening, let me quickly add some data labels. And let's look at this over time. So as you can see from the starting point, let me just make this bigger, you can see that hybrids hardly existed and SUVs were definitely leading in sales. And as I play this, you can see that hybrids taking off, SUVs dipped, but then they're on the rise again. But as we get near the end of the quarters, hybrids are just out of the gate flying. So that's definitely, Definitely something that I want to take a look at. Let me just map this to sale, uh, the average gas prices that are happening. 
and let me just make this a little bit bigger and let's see and one thing that I can do is I can track each one of these and see exactly how they are mapping to the chart that I have below so let me go ahead and do that here you can see SUVs are dipping right around the 2008 time frame right in Q3 hybrids are taking off as the gas prices are becoming lower SUVs are taking off again so yes I can see a direct correlation between how gas prices are influencing my customers decisions to purchase the types of cars that they are and then near the end of 2010 I can see hybrids widely taking off and I can select hybrids now and see all of the different hybrid models that I'm selling here within this window I may be also interested in identifying who are the types of customers that are buying these hybrids. So let me go ahead and quickly add that. I'm going to create this into a tile view. And I'm going to add some demographic, demographic information that we also got from the Azure Marketplace. And now what I can see is which counties are buying these different types of cars and how much are they spending with me. So as you can see, very quickly and easily, I was able to create a report in a matter of clicks, get the data into the types of shapes that I wanted to, and interact and have some fun with that data. And I'm hoping that you guys learned something along the way as well. I encourage you all to download the latest Community Technology Preview of SQL Server Denali. You can find that by going to Microsoft.com slash SQL Server and looking for the CTP download. And give us your feedback. Tell us how you're using Crescent and the rest of the capabilities that we're introducing with SQL Server Denali. Thank you.